Well, as it's, as it's Sunday tomorrow, I hope you'll join me. As the floods of God wash away sin city, they say it was written in the page of the Lord. As I was looking for that great jazz note that destroyed the walls of Jericho. Vintage Clash for you. Clash 1983, live in San Bernardino, San Bernardino, California. The Clash invades the United States. They're already, they were already pretty much by 1983. They're already pretty much on the top of that game. Uh, so we'll come back to that in a second. So Mark Sconti reporting on uh, some. This is a very interesting story. None of us have ever been to North Korea, right? Have you ever been to North Korea? I, I've never been to North Korea. Not many people have been. To North Korea, and there's this very interesting article that I stumbled on that shows us all kinds of weird, crazy facts about North Korea, pleasure squads and regulation haircuts and all kinds of crazy ass shit, right? That goes on in North Korea: starvation, famine, right? paid sex slaves, slaves, right? What's going on in North Korea? So let's have a look, right? And we'll take a stroll down. Uh, it's good to be king too, you know, because Kim Jong Un, Kim Jong Un. So here we go lives like a king there, where everybody else apparently is starving and, and uh, you know, sucking dick for a meal, right? That's, what, that's what's going on over there, right? So North Korea is considered the most isolated and ruthless country in the world. Though it is uh, referred to as a hermit kingdom, there are some interesting and bizarre facts about this recluse nation of 25 million people. Sometimes the news leaks from North Korea seems like it came straight out of a dystopia novel, Read on to discover the true North Korea. Ah, let's do it, man. So, state-sanctioned haircuts. Wow. State-sanctioned haircuts. So, here's some haircuts. And there's 16 of them. The government controls hairstyles. Uh, interestingly enough, fake hawks, fox hawks, fake hawks, have been banned. An unmarried woman can choose... A cut that is short and above the shoulders. Men are not to l- allowed to have shaggy hair as it's a sign of free thinking and rebellion. <laughs> the government released a five-part series explaining how to maintain hair that aligns with the communist values. Oh, boy. So this is the best one. Pleasure Squad. Oh, my God. I fucking love him. Oh, he's a king. Oh my God! Who the fuck you? Kim Jong Un, I will fuck you. And my fucking big pussy, fuck my pussy, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> it's sad, right? Is it sad, man? It's girl, you know, young girls in uniform. They don't look no fucking eighteen years old either. Two thousand North Korean girls are chosen and trained as adult entertainers for Kim Jong Un's pleasure. <laughs> That's why Trump likes him. Ah, that's why Trump likes him. He's got this guy's got two thousand hookers, two thousand sl- slaves. That shit is dope, man. It's nuts. Uh, literally called the Pleasure Squad. It is divided into three specialized groups: one for sexual services, uh, one for giving massages, and one for giving singing and dancing for live singing and dancing, often semi-nude. Hmm. So he's got naked dancing girls. He's got a massage team and a and a a, a pull your pud team. Right? This shit is crazy, man. So um, so it's it's dope. Here's a, a little famine for you. A little famine. Um, I forgot to announce this, by the way. Subscribe to my uh, stop what you're doing, <laughs> and subscribe to Marcus Conti News. If you're watching this on Marcus Conti. Uh, uh, stop and subscribe down below to Marcus Conti News. The object is to get over 700. Um, seven, we're at 700 subscribers now. I need to get over 1,000 to monetize that channel. And then we're going to move over there because this channel has long been shadow banned. And it, it's already showing that just putting uh, my videos somewhere else, they, they get uh, back into thousands of hits. So we have to move the channel over. Uh, this will still this will become the archives, uh, Marcus Conti archives. So famine. Daily rations, right? So you got all this. You got you got a uh, pull your pud team, 
Kim Jong-un has got 2,000 hookers while this kid's starving. You can see their ribs. Now, again, this is all speculation because no one's, this is, it's hard to validate uh, any of this, right? It's hard to validate because you're living behind an iron curtain, right? We don't know for sure if this is real or not, but it is fascinating if it is. Back in 2017, 41% of North Koreans, about 10.5 million people, are undernourished. 28% of children under five years old have stunt growth. Each person receives a daily ration. In the summer of 2017, it was 300 grams per day. The government targets 573 grams per day. For comparison, that's like having two potatoes for the whole day. Two potato per kid. Two potato. You got your potato. State-sanctioned food, uh, I don't know what that's all about. This is interesting. Three-generation punishment law. Wow, this is crazy. So equal parts shocking and ruthless. There is a three generations of punishment rule. If one person is found guilty of a crime, they are sent to a prison camp, sometimes along with their family members. So you commit a crime, your family comes along with you. The subsequent two generations born at the camo, remains there indefinitely. What? So you commit a crime. I guess you get life in prison. And then two generations after, any children that, that, that happen spend their enter- entirety in jail. Whoa, fucking think about that for a while. Assigned, state-assigned jobs. Well, I like state-assigned jobs. I'll take a job. Forced labor. It's just another keg in the wheel, keg in the wheel of the establishment system of political repression. Citizens do not have a choice in the job they are assigned. Well, I don't like. I'm not. I'm not having that. Two and are allowed to change. They're not allowed to change jobs. One category includes a, a, a group of women called in bin, in ben, <laughs> whose job is to maintain the, uh, the the neighborhood, such as polishing the monuments of their leaders and cleaning roads and train lines. Uh, I don't know, assigned labor? No one drives. North Korea capital, Pyongyang, is often so empty that children play in the street. Lack of cars. Interesting. Marijuana is legal, you heard? Marijuana, surprisingly, especially to the Western world, cannabis is is, uh, effectively legal uh, or at very least tolerated and commonly used in North Korea. The exact status is a little unclear since there is limited knowledge available to the outside world, but it is sure that cannabis grows wildly. Marijuana is known as yaksam. Let's say it again. Oh, they smoke some yaksam. Yaksam. Yoksam. Yoksam. Starving children. We already saw about that. It's fucking crazy, man. Ah, uh, forced company. <laughs> That's nice, right? To be king, we watched a movie with all you military people behind you. You got, you got your. I guess it looks like a dozen prime your your primary hookers, right? You go in the back. You get a little bored. You do a little fucky sucky. You do a little assy fucky sucky pussy fucky. Right? What? I mean, I mean, as vulgar as it is, that's what it is, right? That's what we're talking about, right? Here's the king, fat slob, sits on the bed. He sits in his chair. He smokes his cigarettes. He's got his ashtray on the table. He chain smokes. He fucks his hookers. He, he watches probably he's watching dancing, dancing teenagers. Uh, <laughs> Kim Jong-un's grandfather started the first pleasure squad in 1978. They were known as gip ba 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 or happiness, <laughs> consisting of 2,000 women and girls. Women and girls? Well, how old are these girls? How old are these girls, Donald? You were there. After the service, they return home with payment, gifts, and promise, promise to marriage, for example, army officers. Ooh, an army officer. Cannibalism. Look at this guy. There have been several reports of famine stricken North Korea forced to eat human flesh. Wow. They eat their children, too. Re- uh, refugees from 2003 claim the food scarcity uh, issue had resulted in children being killed and used for food, though it is illegal and those caught face execution if done a, if done anyway. Hmm. Children are brainwashed to hate America. I hate you, America. I've never been there, but I hate you, motherfuckers. 
Who knows? Human feces fertilizer. You have to, this says you have to, when you, you don't just take a shit down a bowl. You have to, you have to accumulate your shit and bring it. You're, you're required to deliver your shit, your feces, your, your crap to a fertilizing center so that you can fertilize the crops. Right? And if you don't do it, you get uh, penalized. You get penalized. No genes. What's this? Brainwashed children. Yes. It's the Americans. What's this? Elections have only one candidate. <laughs> uh, same here. We have two candidates, and one is, one is appointed, and one is by the people, and the one that's appointed usually wins. Uh, fucking, come on. One, two. What difference does it make? It's... You can have, see, that, that's, that's interesting right there. Let's stop there for a second. Because you can have, you say, oh, there's only one candidate. But do we really have two candidates? Can a candidate of the people really ever get out in front where that candidate can be elected? No. What you have is Democrats and Republicans that are both bought and paid for by the same donors, same oligarchy paying them. So you really only have one party. And then you have the, the illusion of difference, the illusion of two parties, of, of competing forces in an election. But really, you're just voting. You're voting for getting screwed or getting screwed even harder. Uh, that's all you're really voting for. So elections have, you know, the, the British used to say, British uh, saying is that uh, it's better to have a bad king than no king at all. Uh, someone actually calling the shots, you know? Uh, I don't know what that has to do with it, but uh, we, ha we only have one. We, we don't have a choice. The illusion of choice is ridiculous. Uh, introduced in 2015, North Korea operated uh, Pyongyang time, which is half an hour behind South Korea and Japan. Oh, interesting. So they got their own time. Uh, wicked Japanese imperialists. It was a, a way to fight. They don't like Jap Japan. They don't like anybody. Family's torn apart. This is sad. Uh, so his two brothers, one's from South Korea. This guy's trapped in North Korea. They, they, for some reason, they had a chance to visit after 50 years. And uh, they don't have the right to travel, you know. They don't have the right. They can't leave. They can't, you know. It's, it's crazy shit. Bridge of no return. Don't cross that. Secret subway. Ooh. North Korea... Uh, his metro system is the deepest in the world. Tunnels run from 360 feet beneath the surface of the capital. The metro also doubles as a nuclear bunker should the need arise. Wow, that's pretty deep, man, 360 feet. Man. I wonder if they got, is that where they keep the hookers? I said, it's like the hooker train. Ah, that's, that's true, man, because uh, Kim Jong-un had the train. Remember when he came down from... North Korea, and he um, he went to Singapore, he went to uh, Vietnam, and he had his uh, he had his train right full of hookers right. There's a whole car, there's a hooker car. Right? One of the cars, one of the the uh, the the subway train, whatever fuck it is, the, the armored train where Kim Jong Un is traveling in to the summit. He had a hooker car. It's, I read that somewhere. I don't know where I read it. The image above was taken in Pyongyang's International Women's Day. Oh, how sweet. The Bible is banned. Pow! Fuck you. Fuck you. Corpses on display. Hmm. That's interesting. That's not uncommon in Asian culture. Uh, it's not 2019. Demo the, the, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea calendar, uh, it was implemented. It, it's a different, they have a different calendar. The year is 1912. <laughs> it's funny, right? Uh, government controlled radio. So we have that too. The only thing we have right now is uh, is uh, is what you're watching right now is the internet. Prisoners eat rats. Well, you got nothing else to eat. You can eat a rat, eat bugs, eat whatever. Right? Uh, what's this? TV is under total control. <laughs> so is ours. CNN, MSNBC, fucking Fox. It's all paid for play. Pay for play. The billionaires. Total control. It's total control. Literally. Empty buildings. Some, some people say that the buildings are actually not even empty, but they're fake. They put up the, these fake buildings to create the illusion of wealth uh, from a distance. Kind of bizarre, right? This one is uh, said to have 3,000 rooms, and they're all empty. This is interesting. From the sky, you could see the, uh, the power is literally out in North Korea at night. 
You can see South Korea. You see Russia is all lit up. Here, only in the center of the city is there a little light. And the rest of them live in darkness. Wow. Powerful, right? They tried to flee by boat. Did they? What's this? Forced rallies. You must, you must attend and you must, you must worship. Colossal, uh, colossal Kim statues everywhere. Well, that's not uncommon, in, again. And I, I mean, I've, I'm a frequenter of Thailand, and um, you see the king's face everywhere. So let will wrap this up. So snacks are banned. He heavy guns. This is interesting that uh, I'll leave, we'll leave it here. North Korea has the largest army in the world. Korean people's army is the central institution of their government and society. The Sungang, Sungang a.k.a. military first policy guides domestic and foreign policy. They have such a large army through universal conscription for both men and women. They serve a 10 year they serve a minimum of 10 years starting at 17 years old. Wow, so everybody does 10 years in the military. What's this? Ah, so uh, so there you have it, man. So a little, you know a little something more now, right? About the, a little a little more than you did know, man. But the 2000 the 2000 uh, fucking hooker army, man, the pleasure team. Ooh, the pleasure squad. Pleasure yourself, man. Hey, look, it's, you know, if you're going to be king, you might as well have a pleasure squad. The planet's born, the golden class love. I see you on the golden castles. After all this time, to believe in Jesus. After all these drugs, I thought I was him. After all my life, I find I'm the suffering. I ain't good enough, I ain't clean enough to be him.